what we have here is a very basic pulse motor and the way it works is you have a battery supply you have a make break switch and a coil when the points on the switch are opened the field collapses in the coil which then sends a small pulse out against the magnet and causes it to turn. Uh, it's running on three volts. Uh, it will run on this solar cell here in bright sunlight. I have tried it without the battery, with the battery disconnected as it is now. And uh, so to get it running, all I have to do is remove this piece of insulating material and give it a little shove. The meter is reading 3.2 volts. And it reaches a maximum RPM like the other one I had done and it will not exceed that. It is limited by probably the make break switch speed. And it has no, um, this little pulse motor has no real use unless we were to mount a tiny little tone arm here to pick up the music from the disc so we can read it. <laughs> Uh, other than that, it's just no real use. I don't know if it would even run winning a award in a science fair in high school. But it does show a newcomer how a pulse motor works. The current flows from the battery through the switch, through the coil, and back to the battery. There's, it's as simple as that. This is simply hooked up in parallel. The uh, Solar cell is simply hooked up in parallel with the the batteries, and it will charge the batteries in sunlight. Uh, okay, let me see here. The circuit diagram, basic circuit diagram of this is almost identical to that. Everything is the same except it has, it does not use that type of coil, mine is a single coil. And uh, this one, this coil in this diagram is used so it can collect the, the uh, wasted current uh, when the coil collapses. That is emitted each time the coil collapses. And there you have it, that's all there is to it. Pretty, but pretty useless. See the slow meg brake switch operation. Thanks for watching.